so checking out mass spec problem um so for this um we need to remember essentially some distinctive isotopes for mass spec um so isotopes are uh atoms that can exist with different numbers of neutrons um so the major ones we learned in o ochem were chlorine and bromine uh chlorine has an isotope so chlorine exists as 35 and 37 uh in a three to one ratio or th chlorine 35 is 75 percent of all the chlorine on the earth and chlorine 37 is 25 percent uh, bromine also is, exists as 78 or 8 or 79 or 81 um, and so bromine would be um, again two different isotopes and they exist in a 50 50 ratio on planet earth and th these are just the indicative of what the planet earth you know this is how we do carbon dating actually is isotope labeling labeling but that matters for mass spec because it can we can help to un know um, what we have based on those isotopes ratios so if you look here at the end, this M plus and M plus two, you see these are two mass units apart and you see this is like a three to one ratio. So that should tell you that's chlorine, right? That if this is the, also the other key here is if that's the M peak, if you just add up, right? There's one, two, three carbons, that's 36 plus three, four, seven, 36, 36 43 plus 35 is 78. So it's also like the old school way of just adding it up and knowing what it is. But if it was a bigger molecule you didn't know, you see that three to one ratio, that tells you it's a chlorine in there. If this ratio was even, 50-50, that would tell you it's a bromine. Um, and then this one's just there to distract you kind of. Uh, the big peak here, that's called the base peak. Um, those kind of things you hopefully remember those some of those basic stuff from mass spec the largest abundance is the most stable cation that's the base peak um and these are called the molecular ion m stands for molecular ion that's the molecule that's only lost one electron so it's basically the same weight as it is before because electrons weigh so little